off with Allie is canoeing. We're in the backyard. And so I thought, yeah, it's a butterfly. This would be a good time to vlog. Good job, baby. What a fun way, huh, to start this vlog off with my little Allie out there canoeing. She's such a good little paddler. Yep, she wanted to come out here. And so I thought that while I'm out here watching her, I'd vlog and update you all because so many of you have been asking me for a vlog and an update. And I just Hadn't gotten around to doing it because the last two weeks of Allie's online school was, oh my word, so much. And I am so thankful that for third grade, it's over. We've got time to recoup because it looks like her fourth grade year, she's only going to be going to class or to school for two days a week for four hours. And it'll be part online, part in school. I'm not real sure how I feel about it. I think that if there's the social distancing of the desks and she keeps her mask on, that I will be okay with it. I think that it's really good for her to get out and be taught by the teacher in person because um, that's what she needs. And I think it'll give me a break and then on the opposite days I can do it and then it'll give me time to work as well. And so, um, yeah, you know, school is out, Kayla's done. She passed statistics, thank God. And so she is glad that that's over. Uh, she registered for online schooling for next semester. And so she won't be attending the college. She's just gonna stay online just to be safe. And that's about it. So many of you have asked about Ray and how he's doing and Jeff. And so I will tell you that Ray is doing good. He's been back to work for, I would say, five or six weeks now. Um, the only thing is that he has not regained his sense of smell or taste. And it's driving him nuts. He is really frustrated with it. I don't think you realize how much you rely on it and whatnot and so he is still seeing his doctor right now she has to do some tests on him because the medication that he needs to take i guess to help regain that back or bring it back is a medication that could be dangerous if you still have any of the covid19 antibodies in your system and so with that i i don't know i don't really understand it completely i think um, they just really want to err on the side of caution and make sure because if they give him this steroid, it could do I don't know what. Honestly, he wasn't super clear about it and I wasn't there with him. So I didn't get to ask all the questions that I typically would have asked. Had he told me he was going to the doctor, I probably would have sent him with a list of questions to ask. But I did not know. Oh, well, that's the mom and me. It is what it is. And so, yeah, outside of that, um, his breathing is fine. He doesn't have any problems breathing. Um, everything is pretty much back to normal. Normal. His energy level is great. Um, he feels great other than the fact that he can't smell or taste anything. And so that's kind of weird because he'll, all, he'll come over and when he comes over, I make him take off his clothes and I put him in the wash and I make him shower and we Lysol everything. And the other day when he came over, he sprayed Lysol in his hand. And we all know that Lysol has a very strong smell to it. And I sprayed a fair amount of Lysol on his hand. And when he smelled it, he smelled nothing. But when I smelled it, it made me cough. And so, yeah, kind of I don't know, you know, it's just one of those things. I, we're not gonna complain about it because we're glad he's okay, but I think he'll be really happy when it comes back. As for Jeff, Jeff is still in the motor home. At some point, we're gonna need to bring him back into the house. Right now, we're not bringing him back into the house because I am in the process of redoing Allie's room and Ray's room. They're under complete renovation and transformation. We're moving Allie from her old room, which was her nursery, 
and we are putting her into Ray's room since Ray moved out. And then Allie's old room is going to be the guest room slash Ray's room. And so um, we need to take it from being pink and green to something neutral and nice. And yeah, and so right now, that's what we're doing. I think that once the rooms are done, if Jeff wants to come back in the house, we'll probably just sleep in separate rooms just because he comes in contact with COVID patients daily. And I just don't feel comfortable sleeping in the same bed with him, breathing the same air that he's breathing out like a foot away. That may be too much information, but I just, I don't want it, you know, who does? And I just feel like because of his line of work, being a firefighter, we just need to be more careful for longer. We don't have the luxury of not, you know, of being complacent. And, you know, we get complacent, then before you know it, I'm sick, Allie's sick, and then Kayla's sick, and we just don't know how Kayla's gonna react. And so, yeah, you know, I think, uh, Look at her, she's still, she just did not, oh. She just did not want to get her hair wet today. She put her hair in a bun. Before I forget, make sure to head on over to Kayla's channel this week because she is sharing with you her artistic talent when it comes to taking pictures and photography. She is an amazing photographer along with all of her other amazing talents that she has. And if I'm not mistaken, this week she is sharing with you nature and items that remind her of June. Pictures that she takes in June that remind her of June. So you can find the link to her video in the description box below. And so yeah, that's pretty much just it. Uh, summer plans this year, I don't think we have much. I think we're gonna spend a lot of time out here by the pool. I think we're lucky enough to have a nice comfortable backyard with a pool in it. And so I think we'll just really take advantage of the pool this year. I mean, it's one year out of how many. And so it is what it is. I did let Ellie go out and play with um, a couple of her friends yesterday, although I did make her wear a mask and I sent her with Germex in her hands. <laughs> I just told her just to practice social distancing and stay, you know, a good distance from them and not to touch all of their belongings, you know, just to kind of touch her own stuff and use Germex every now and again. I mean, she's been in the house for three and a half months and the poor kid just looks so sad. It was breaking my heart. And so uh, when she saw the kids out playing a couple days ago, I just was like, okay, this is what we're gonna do. This is how we're gonna do it. And once you come in, we gotta take off your clothes, wash them, and you need to go shower, you know? And then I, here I am outside Lysoling her bike and her scooter and her shoes and her helmet. And so, you know, it may be overly excessive to some, but you know, I just don't wanna be the one who gives Kayla anything. And so that's my fear. But I think that if we just stay safe and smart and just, you know, disinfect, I think that we should be good. Hopefully the spike doesn't happen and, you know, it doesn't get out of control. And so I guess that's all that we can hope for. But other than that, yeah, I mean, everybody is good. I am excited that, you know, I can go back to the Dollar Tree and Michael's and Joann's and Hobby Lobby and pick up some crafting items. I don't go out every day. I do want to say that. And that is just my personal preference. I go out maybe once a week. And I do it like an all in one day. I kind of get a list together of what I need for the week for groceries. If I really need something, I kind of send Jeff out for most of it. Um, but for the most part, I only really go out once a week and I just do it all in one lump sum. And I start out at six o'clock in the morning at Smart and Final and I make my rounds and I'm done by nine. And then I just come home and do the same thing. I put my clothes in the washer, disinfect my shoes, and I take a shower so I'm not, you know, putting any germs in my house. And so I'm just excited to be able to do some DIYing. I just got back from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to post a Dollar Tree haul on Friday that I cannot wait to show you. So found some amazing items and um, some great stuff that you're going to be seeing in DIYs. I'm really excited about. I'm excited to challenge myself and get to DIYing again and uh, doing more than some paper crafting DIYs. Although I will tell you, I have a paper crafting series that I'm bringing to you and I'm bringing it to you now a bit earlier than usual because holidays are gonna be coming. I know I shouldn't say that. Some of you are gonna say, Kelly, bite your tongue. Don't remind us. 
but they're coming. And I feel like if I wait until closer to the holidays, it gives people less time to prepare. And I feel like because of the year that we've had and so many people have been staying at home, so many people have not been working. I feel like if I start now, that these are items that people can prepare for and start to do now little by little. And it's all budget friendly DIYs paper crafting DIYs using Dollar Tree items is what the series is. And these items are obviously a dollar from the Dollar Tree and it is incorporating a paper crafting packaging for the item, different fun items at the Dollar Tree. And so I can't wait to bring you that series. I'm really looking forward to it because so many of you, I feel like are telling me in the comments that you've been inspired by my paper crafting and that you too want to start paper crafting and so I love that because it's so budget friendly and you really can do it on a budget and really add that homemade handmade element to a gift idea or a gift that you're giving somebody and so yeah that's something that I'm going to be bringing to you um Monday's DIY is a block DIY that I can't wait to bring to you that I really think you're going to love I love crafting with Dollar Tree's blocks and so that is something to look forward to along with Friday's haul. And so, yeah, I think Miss Allie, are you done? She's got some block on, I promise. Okay, so since I'm outside, I gotta show you guys my garden. This garden is turning out amazing. So I'm gonna turn my camera around, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so there's not a lot of difference in some of the trees. This here is the Fuji apple tree. And so it's got more leaves than it had before. It's a bit on the dry side. I better water them. I didn't water them this morning. The grapevine is doing great. This is one that I just planted this year. So it's got a lot of leaves on it. At some point, I'm going to have to put a wire in there for it to climb up. I love you. This is the grapevine that is four or five years old. This one is amazing. How is there, you can tell here that this is gonna be a grapevine. These are gonna be grapes. I don't see any grapes that are sprouting yet. I think they're gonna sprout here in the next month or so. I can't wait to show you those when they do. If you saw my last vlog, this is a blueberry bush down here that I had planted and I planted two of them in the same pot. So you can see this one here, but then there was a plant that was growing up out of it that I did not plant. And so many of you said it was a sunflower and you are right. I don't know how this got in this plant, plant her, I guess I should say, but yes, it is a sunflower. We thought it might be a pepper, but how it got there, I have no idea. My mom used to plant sunflowers every year. And so I'm gonna think of it as a sign. Isn't that awesome? And with the blueberries, I didn't have the heart to pull this. And so it's just gonna grow with my blueberries. It doesn't seem to be doing any damage to them. Okay, and look at this. This is my watermelon or Allie's watermelon. Yeah, and so, <laughs> what baby? It's mine. It is yours. So this is her watermelon vine. And you can see that, look here, this here is going to be a watermelon. It's already sprouted and it's usually where the flowers are. And so we've got one baby watermelon here that's already growing, but look at how big this vine is already. These vine out. And so we're gonna have a lot of watermelons on this. How fun is that? And they're gonna get to be the size of grapefruits, I would say. This one is really long on this side here as it's vining out into the rocks. And so it's always really fun, but so far we've got the one and they grow pretty quick once it starts growing. This one here again is the Honeycrisp apple. That's a honey crisp. And look, here are my peppers. Those were barely planted when I first vlogged. And look, we've got a lot of peppers in there already. We've got that big one. We've got a couple, where is it? A couple right here that are growing. There are so many peppers. Oh, we've got some serranos right here. This is a serrano, not quite ready to go. There's a lot on this one. There's a lot of Serranos. This is an Anaheim. We've got some Anaheims here. These are the Anaheims. And then back here, I think this is a Serrano. This is a bell pepper. Look at how cute this baby bell pepper is right there that's growing. 
That's just a baby bell pepper. How cute is that? So yeah, look at how big that is. That whole container. And somebody asked me how I did this to plant and Jeff drilled several holes in the bottom of this before we put dirt in it for drainage. And then we put a layer of gravel on the bottom before we put the soil. And I do reuse the soil every year. I don't dump it out and discard it. I just fertilize it before I add my plants. A few days before I'll add fertilizer to the soil and like a miracle grow. And then I kind of water it and mix it up and water it a couple days before I add my plants. Okay, so this here looks like it's a raspberry. This one almost died and it came back to life. And so I am so excited. There's even new growth at the bottom here. We've got growth here. And so I almost threw this out, but I'm glad I just transplanted it into this pot and now it's doing better. This was, I don't know what, and I was hoping it would come back, but it didn't. This is our peach tree. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. This one is doing really good. We had to cut off the top because I think the cold hard freeze this year, I planted them too early, but um, it's coming back, so that's good. We've got more peppers here. I think that these are serrano and jalapeno. Yeah, we've got three in there because I make my homemade salsa. This grapevine is doing amazing. I will be surprised if this one does not produce fruit. This is only a couple months old, if you can believe it. This grapevine is amazing. A couple months old and wow, they say that grapevines don't produce fruit or bear fruit for about two or three years, but I'm gonna be surprised if this doesn't because I am seeing a lot of these vines. And in my experience from these growing, they grow off of those and so we'll see and would you look at this raspberry here look at this thing it is taken off i gotta add a stick to it and just kind of tie it up because it's getting heavy but look at this thing it is so tall no fruit yet but that's okay this here is a blackberry and look we've got berries that are growing on it how fun is that i love blackberries and this one here is our cherry tree. That one's doing good. And then Jeff bought me two new pots here. And I tried to plant seeds, but it's been about two weeks and nothing is growing. And so I think we're gonna put a nectarine tree in this one from Lowe's. And I think we're gonna go with a lemon tree here because Allie really wants a lemon tree. And we're gonna do the dwarf ones. And so yeah, that is my garden and the progress on it. I'm excited. I cannot wait for it to all bear more fruit. I would say probably in a couple, two or three years, we're gonna have fruit growing all over the place and overabundance of it, I'd say. The berries, I bet you will eat them all because I eat berries in my yogurt all the time. I love a uh, Greek yogurt with vanilla. I used to, I do, huh? And I love to add granola to it with the berries. And so Allie has always loved blackberries. She eats them like they're candy. And so I think the berries are gonna go quick. Um, peppers always go super fast because once I pluck them all, I just make a huge batch of salsa and hand it out to everybody. And so I'm excited for all the fruit. I am such a fruit eater and it's gonna be awesome. And I can't wait to see that sunflower bloom. That's gonna be awesome too. Father's Day is this weekend. And I gotta tell you, I'm gonna share with you Jeff's Father's Day gift because when he goes on fires, there are photographers that go out there that don't necessarily work for the fire department or the county. They're usually people that do it for a hobby. And they have like a radio and they hear the calls come out. And when like a fire call comes out, they usually grab their camera and go to the call. And they take some really good pictures of the firefighters and then they post them. And this uh, photographer, and I'm gonna insert his name here because I wanna give him credit, took these pictures. And these pictures of Jeff are amazing. Absolutely love them. I was trying to keep it a secret from Jeff because I wanted to gift them to him on Father's Day. 
and he ended up finding out about it because somebody saw him on social media and sent it to him. And then when he told me, babe, look at these pictures, I was like, I know already. You weren't supposed to see those. I wanted to gift them to you, but that's okay because we're going to gift some to his parents too because they're such awesome pictures. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to try a DIY using like a photo transfer medium and I want to put it on like a wood log and so I need to go to like Joanne's or Hobby Lobby and get one of those wood logs that has the bark on it and I want to try and print the picture out use the photo medium let it dry and then peel it up and the picture's supposed to stay on the wood and so this is a technique that I've seen done before but I've never tried it myself and so I'm going to try it this time because I think even though Jeff knows about the pictures I think that'll be a good way to gift it to him rather than just giving it in a frame if I have to do it in a frame I will but I'm gonna try it on the wood first in the next day or two because the clock is ticking and Father's Day is just like four days away. Anyway, all that is all I have for you for my update, what's going on in life and what you can look forward to, my cool new garden that I love nurturing and Allie is loving watching grow. I guarantee those blackberries are gonna be gone as soon as she gets out of the pool because there's only two and so they should be hers. I hope you all are finding yourselves healthy and staying positive and until next time, I will see you on Friday when I bring to you an awesome Dollar Tree new finds haul that you are not gonna wanna miss. So I will see you then. Until next time, everybody, bye for now. Allie, wait, wait. Allie, say bye. bye.